guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back at it again. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm actually filming a first impressions video on a few products that I've been wanting to try out for a long time and had sitting here in my makeup vanity and I decided to bring it all out today and try it on camera. And you know your girl had to try the new Fenty Beauty Foundation. Duh. I wanted to get the highlighters as well, but honestly, I have way, 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 way too much highlighters. And I did try um, some new highlighters today anyways. It just wasn't the Fenty Beauty one. So um, I ended up doing a fall-inspired look. It's The lip is different. It's not your typical Elba nude as or pink as she would usually do. It's more of this... I don't even know this shade. It's like a brownie mauvey shade and a fall inspired eye. And I even did wing liner. Who, who are you? Who are you? This is not Elba because Elba never wears wing liner anymore. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you guys do, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me some products that you think that I should be featuring on my channel or try and We'll see if we do that. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, girl. Click, click that button and subscribe. Also, I don't like saying this, but if you guys want to be aware of when my videos do upload, make sure to click that bell button to be notified on future videos. And yeah, until next time, you guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Hi, if you hear some noise in the background, it's probably my neighbors upstairs walking around. Um, and I apologize sincerely. <laughs> okay, so because these videos tend to take a little bit more of a longer time, I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into it. I am going to use this Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist Spray. You can use it before and after makeup. Then, for moisturizer, I'm just gonna use this Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is just like a deluxe sample and I just wanna use it, so I'm gonna use that today. I love this moisturizer. This is actually one of my favorite moisturizers to use. Highly recommend it. And they had it for like a deluxe sample when I was buying some stuff from Sephora, so I was like, heck yeah. All over the face. Now for primer, I'm going to use this Ofra Absolute Cover Face Primer. I put this back, I think, in my monthly favorites for June or July. Just using one pump of this. One pump literally is enough for the whole face. Okay, so now for foundation. I mean, you guys, come on. You pretty much should be aware of what I'm going to use. This is a new foundation. <laughs> I'm super excited to use this actually. Um, it's actually the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. I'm super excited to try this out. I got the shade 300. It's actually, it was really interesting trying to figure out the right shade. I looked up a lot of reviews to try to figure out where my shade range would be around. And I'm hoping this is correct. I'm thinking, because I'm aware that it does oxidize, that it might be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but hopefully it will work out. They do have 40 shades in the line, 40 shades. That way you can actually find the perfect match for your foundation, but I bought mine online. I didn't go in store, was not gonna do that. <laughs> Couldn't commit to that. So I'm hoping that, crossing my fingers, that it's the right shade. So that is what the bottle looks like. It's a very, very sleek, kind of a thin bottle. Um, has white writing, white top, and then best of all, it also comes with a pump as well. So there is 1.08 fluid ounces in the bottle, and this does leave a matte finish. I believe this is a medium to full coverage as well, and a little bit goes a long way. I did pump it out on my skin. I haven't tried it on my skin on my face but I did um, color match it on my hand when I got it and I don't remember if it matched or not. It was more of a runny foundation, so I'm guessing a little bit will go a long way. So yeah, definitely a runny foundation. So I'm gonna do two pumps. 
I'm going to apply this on with the brush. That's just my preference on applying foundations. Maybe I should do one side with a beauty blender and then the other side with a brush. Here goes nothing. Yeah, so I can already tell it's, it's a pretty good match, but it's a tiny bit darker than my skin tone, which now I'm a little bit worried because this oxidizes. This is definitely a medium to full coverage. I can already tell it definitely concealed um, a lot of my acne marks that I have going on right now because Ampla was here. <laughs> a lot of the reviews that I have seen said the foundation dries up really fast but I'm not really finding that on my end. I think it dries at a pretty normal time span um, because right now it still seems like it's definitely still on the dewier side. I'm still not like, oh my God, this is everything. Holy guacamole. We still need to test this out. Now on this side, I'm gonna use it with a beauty blender. So we're gonna do a couple pumps. Again, I might have to use more pumps with the beauty blender because the beauty blender will tend to soak up um, foundation. So with the beauty blender, what I'm noticing right now, it's definitely a lighter coverage, which obviously I knew that was gonna happen because the beauty blender will soak up uh, more of the foundation compared to applying it on with a brush. I'm liking the finish a lot more with the beauty blender. I'm actually gonna Put it on on this side too. Okay, it's cool. I'm, I don't know you guys, like I'm not like, I don't know if it's just me, I'm not blown away. It's like, it looks good. It doesn't look airbrushed to me personally. Like it looks just like a good foundation. That's just my honest opinion, you guys. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set the foundation and I'm going to use one of these Ofra palettes. This is what the palette looks like. Just a black, sleek palette. It's kind of like that cardboard material. And then it comes with a huge mirror and then inside you get five shades and it comes with a sponge, but I'm not gonna use a sponge. I'm gonna go ahead and use a center shade right here. I don't think it has like a, yeah, it doesn't have a name or a number to the powder. Center shade right here. Ooh, no. Uh, yeah, no. That, no. Mm -mm. Nope, no thanks. That was a hardcore fail. That actually came off really ashy on my skin. Okay, maybe let's try the shade next to it. I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna try these two shades right here. Better. really weird like the undertone is really gray I don't know how I feel about that okay so the powder is already kind of a no-go for me and I feel like it's washing me out a lot okay we're gonna we're gonna keep going it's okay it's just wake up don't freak out Oba. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding it's gonna be fine you guys now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I have my brows on, as you can see. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just move into eyeshadow and just do a, we're gonna try to do a natural eyeshadow look or just not natural chill. I don't know what we are gonna do, girl. I have no other, but we gonna wing it. I am going to set my eyes first um, over my primer. I'm just gonna use the powder palette. Use this color right here, because it's hella light. And just, ooh, that is pigmented AF. Got everywhere. The reason I like to do this is because when you actually go ahead and start using your transitioning shades or any other eyeshadow shades. They're gonna blend smoothly and you won't get any patches. So just setting it with a powder will definitely help give you more of a flawless finish with your eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with the 
Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. I seen today on Trend Mood that the eyeshadow palette is gonna go back on restock. So if you don't have the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, I highly suggest to order it. It's such a good palette, you guys. It's like my holy grail palette right now. I literally use it every single day. So the palette is gonna restock on September 19th. So today is the 17th. Hopefully I'll have this video up by tonight or tomorrow. And then um, on Tuesday, September 19th, the palette will be restocked. You guys don't have it. And you can get it. Now I am going to go in with this brick tone color. I'm just gonna pop this right into the fold of my crease. And then blend that up into the first transitioning shade. And then lastly, I am going to use this brown shade at the very end and then just use that onto the outer corner of our crease. Now that I finished that, I'm going to go back with some concealer and just pat this on my lid, carve out my lid space. I'm gonna try something different. I'm actually gonna try this corner color right here. It's very fall appropriate. And I kinda wanna stick with a fall themed trend, so wish me luck. Really pretty, I like that. And then today I'm actually gonna do eyeliner, which I honestly never do eyeliner anymore, but I wanna try to go for a wing. I feel like I haven't done a wing liner in a really long time. Today I'm actually gonna use a brown liner instead of a black liner. This is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Wear Liquid Liner containers just like that. We gonna wing it today. We gonna wing a wing eyeliner today. Not too bad. The only thing with this is that it skips a little when I'm creating the wing, but I usually have that problem with most liquid liners. I think it's just the texture of my skin. Um, I'm gonna try to fill that in. So now we're gonna use Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. I use the shade Medium for those that would like to know. You guys know what palette I really wanna get now, and I wasn't sold on it before, but now I really wanna get the Hue to Beauty palette. Do you guys have it? Let me know if you guys have it. Tell me what you think. I know they're going to restock tomorrow and I'm planning to buy it. But if you guys have it, let me know if you guys like it. I have the first one and I loved it. There was a lot of mixed reviews on it, but I personally loved it. Um, but this new one though, I know I don't need it, but it's catching my eye. I'm also wondering too if the formula is the same or if it's different. That's another thing that I'm really interested in to see. But if you guys have it, comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if you guys like it. If you guys have both, I would definitely love to know if the formula is different this time around. Underneath the lash line, I'm just going to use the same color that I used in my crease um, underneath. Just gonna use Lancome Dethinisols Mascara and apply a light coat because I am gonna use false lashes today. Okay, so I'm just gonna use some 
random lashes that I've had sitting here. I don't know the brand of this lash, or I would tell you. If I figure out what it is, I'll definitely link it down below. Okay, so basically while I let the lash glue dry on my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the face. I am going to use another Ofra palette, and this is their blush palette. Look how gorgeous this is. This is so beautiful. It actually doesn't have any contouring shades on here, so I think I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. This is my favorite holy grail bronzer. And I'm just gonna bronze my skin a little bit and then apply blush. I absolutely love this bronzer. It's my favorite. It's pretty pricey, but it's just the best one that I've found on the market. I've tried so many bronzers and this one just just gives me life. I don't know, I just, I love it. A new show that I have fallen in love with right now is Mary Jane, it's on Netflix. <laughs> I'm always looking for new shows. Insecure just finished. If you guys are an Insecure fan, um, it's on HBO. You can stream it too, but if you guys watch that show, I'm really sad that it's over. It's such a good show. So I'm actually gonna apply my lashes now because they're drying. Lashes, oh my God, by the way, also, I'm thinking of doing eyelash extensions. Um, one of my coworkers at work, her eyelashes look so good. And I've been trying to find a place that's like nearby. I'm super scared, it's gonna be my first time, but I think I'm gonna go for it, you guys. And the place wasn't even that expensive at all, but her lashes look so good. I'm kind of scared, but one time, you guys, it's not gonna kill me, right? All right, so now that we have our lashes on, loving that, we're gonna go ahead and go back to blush. I am going to use, hmm, I think I'm gonna use this shade right here. These are pretty pigmented, like the powder was pretty pigmented, so I don't wanna use too much. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Thank God I didn't go crazy ham with it. That's pretty, pretty pregnanted. Oh my God, you guys. These blushes are so pigmented. Sheesh. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back. Blend that out. Because um, we ain't trying to look crazy out in these streets. Even though I'm not going nowhere, but still. Okay, so I just blended that out. Now I'm gonna highlight and I'm using another Ofra palette just because I've never used these before, so I really want to try them out. And I personally love Ofra highlighters. Okay, this eyeshadow look though, I just looked at it right now and I'm like, damn girl. Damn girl, you're doing your thing. Let's blend it out though, a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and try this center one right here. It looks like this is a bronzing side. And then these two shades right here are highlighting shades. So I'm just gonna mix both of them. They do have a lot of kickback. Tap some off and then highlight. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <gasps> oh shit. Oh yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you see that? Girl. Girl, girl, girl. Oh my god. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, for highlighters, honestly, they're bomb already, so no surprise there. Mm, it smells really good. It smells pretty good, too. Don't have to keep this bow. Little bit on the brow bone. Your girl is glowing. Your girl is glowing. Yes, okay, so definitely yes for the highlighting palettes. If I, I'm gonna look up the actual name of the highlighter and I'll list it down below in case you don't even wanna get the palette. Okay, so for my lips, I actually ended up picking three shades. I have uh, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton. Then I have Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. And then I have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper. This is Beeper, Bow and Arrow and Ashton. 
I think I'm gonna do ash then. Oh, or maybe be, God, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna wing it. So I'm just gonna use Strip Down by MAC and line my lips out first. I think I kind of want to try bow and arrow, but then, I, I mean, I feel like bow and arrow is something that I would pick. So let's do Ashton. Ashton is like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do Ashton. Screw it, let's do Ashton. So I'm gonna use Ashton from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So scared, you guys. <laughs> this is like out of my color palette. This, with the nude lip, I can already tell I would love. It almost looks like I'm wearing a nude lip now. <laughs> no, love it but we need to add some color in my life. I've had one of my subscribers was like, girl, you wear the same shades all the time, switch it up. So just think about it, I'm doing it for you, I'm trying to switch it up this time around and do something different. So we're gonna try Ashton. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. If you guys want to see more of these, please comment down below and let your girl know. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment down below, tell me your thoughts, tell me if you've been enjoying the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!